we have things in meat that we have to have that we cannot get from plants, but there is nothing in plants or fungus that we have to have that we cannot get from meat. Now, it is true that if you you know, eat different things, you will change what your body's requirements for different nutrients are. And this is where the RDAs come from. But these are looking at the context of eating in a mixed diet. So things are very different when you're exclusively eating meat. While animals can run away or fight back, plants can't. And so they use poison and other mechanisms as a way to deter animals and insects from eating them. You know, uh, as simply as looking at animals in the zoo, Animals in the zoo, if you, you have signs that say, don't feed the animals, if you feed these animals something they don't eat, they get sick. And any proper zookeeper that knows what they're doing can tell you that if you feed an animal something that it doesn't eat in the wild, that they get sick. But what do they get sick with? They get obesity, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, autoimmune diseases, all <clears throat> arthritis, and, and all the rest of them. These things don't exist in the wild, and they don't exist in, in animals that eat their optimal appropriately specific, biologically adapted diet. Our teeth have uh, you know, changed uh, dramatically in the last sort of 8 million years, becoming smaller and smaller because we're chewing softer and softer foods. We're not you know, chewing on sticks all day like a, like a gorilla does. Um, and so we're getting carnivorous adaptations to our teeth. But then just looking at the GI tract, you go down to our stomach, our stomach pH is very, very low. It's around 1.4, uh, 1.5. And other carnivores are around like two, like lions are usually around two. You look at buzzards and vultures and carrion animals, they're around the 1.4, 1.5 range. And that's because they have a, you know, the food that they're eating has a high bacterial load. And so they need to be able to kill off that bacteria so they don't get sick. We, in our evolutionary past, seem to have come from a scavenger background where we were just eating off the remains of the, the kills that, you know, another more physically adapted animal uh, you know, would have made a kill and then left some leavings. And this is actually where the, the original stone tools came from using big, large pound stones to crack open the skulls of these animals and get at the brains because this was very nutritious, very high calorie and fat content. That was very, very good, uh, for our early ancestors and any, any animal for that matter. Then you look at the fact that we have five organs working in concert just to absorb fat. So our stomach starts breaking down food in the process of digestion. Then our liver makes bile, our gallbladder stores that bile, our pancreas makes things like lipase and other enzymes that break down the food and break down the fat into digestible, absorbable uh, products. And then that bile emulsifies the fatty acids and your small intestine absorbs it. Okay, so you have five organs working in concert just to absorb fat. If fat weren't really, really important, it would not do this. It wouldn't have wasted its time and energy. This is a very high energy demand to keep these organs functioning in that process of absorbing fat. So if fat wasn't extremely important, it would not be, it, we would not be spending all this energy and coordination in order to absorb it.